cops like to say that a lot. I wasn't there, so I don't know. You're right, I know. Same thing as is when. Is it fair for me to say I wasn't there? I don't know. Well, I tell you, do they teach y'all? Did they teach y'all to say that in the academy? No. Another thing y'all always say when you, because y'all don't. Let's, let's. I mean, everybody knows that you guys don't know the laws. You're not lawyers, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Now, when somebody who actually does know the laws tries to explain it to you, uh -huh. you guys always say, "Look, I'm not going to argue with you about laws." Do they teach y'all to say that in the academy? No. What about this one? I'm not going to debate with you on the side of the road. Yeah, I've said that before. Do they teach you to say that in the academy? No, but I've said it before. Well, how come all cops all across the country say that? Because. What's going on, everybody? I've got a good First Amendment audit here for you guys. This video here is going back five weeks ago to Friday, March the 18th. And this is right before we had went to the River Oaks Police Department to file a complaint. And then they turned around and arrested Manuel because Tobar wanted to cover his behind for pushing him. But anyways, I got 30 minutes of footage right here that nobody's ever seen before. And after we were here for 30 minutes, I decided to go live. And so I'm going to put the two of them together because it's a pretty good video. Anyways, you guys enjoy it. Later. A little longer than a few minutes later. There's a cop stand out here. Here we go. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Are you working here? I am. Cool. They open the door. Hawkins? Yep. Nice to meet you, man. You too, sir. <clears throat> well, you have to take a bathroom break? I don't know. Back in 10 minutes. Was that you? Not no, you I just pulled up. Oh. You're, you're retrieving, you're uh, relieving. Oh, okay. Where's Levine at? Just in case any of you don't remember who Officer Levine is, let me give you a quick reminder. He's the one that when we walked in the police department to ask questions, he immediately got on the phone and said, I have guys who need to be removed and they're sticking cameras in my face. There's Officer Levine right there. May need to be removed. What? Can we get the supervisor here? Can we get your supervisor? Because you're not even from over here. You're from the West Division. <clears throat> What's your name and badge number, sir? He said we need to be removed. Yeah. We just walked in here. He said they may need to be removed. He doesn't even know where we came from. Why do we need to be removed? No, there's a glass in between us. This guy's lying. He just said we put a camera in his face. There's a glass in between us. Stop lying. You're live on the internet, dude. Yeah. You're making a real jerk out of yourself. I'd be careful with the words you're using. What's your name and badge number? Yeah. What's your name and badge number? Name and badge no, number. I don't need a hush up. You don't tell us to shut up, man. What's wrong with Give you? Give me your name and badge number, pig. What'd you say? Pig. What's wrong with you, man? I said, give us your name and badge number, pig. No, no, to you inside the building. What you? And this is a public building. No, you don't say pig inside the building. It's a freedom of speech. Name and badge number. You don't say inside. Oh, so you identify you're just a person. We Remember want your su supervisor here right now. Hey, come on. Let's, they need to go right now. Who, who Levine? Officer Levine. He was working back here a couple of weeks ago. Detective Levine? Was that guy a detective? Levine? No. No, nah, he wasn't. No, he wasn't a detective. Officer Levine, he was a black guy. Oh, 
Olive Levine, I know, is a detective. Oh, is he a black guy? No, it's not the same person. Do you know if uh, Sergeant Brashear is here? I don't. I work North Division. Oh, okay. We're just here to cover the desk. Well, that's kind of what I'm here for. Brashear? Brashear. Did you tell him? Or? There's no, you're the first person I've talked to. Okay. Nobody's been here. This is, it says back in 10 minutes. Oops. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. I thought it was taped. Look, it had tape on it. <clears throat> what kind of book are you reading? The mm -hmm. New World of Police Accountability. Mm -hmm. What's that about? No clue. I haven't started it yet. Oh. I wonder if it has any laws in there. Probably not. Hmm. It's not necessarily a law book. Hmm? Oh, that's what it says on the cover. I haven't read it yet. It says police accountability on it. Mm -hmm. That'd be good. That's kind of what we do. Or that's what we try to do. Police accountability. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Y'all don't have a... They don't... I mean... Seems you don't have a card to open the door. No, I don't work here. Oh, you? I work North Division. This is temporary. Yeah, Shit. this is just come down here, set up the computer for like an hour. Have you ever seen us on YouTube, me and him? Yeah, I've seen you guys. Oh, okay, I was gonna give you a card if you wanted one. <clears throat> Harvey Freebird. Yes, sir. Is this an awkward situation for you? No, because I'm leaving at four. So oh. whether he opens no, I mean, are you not. uncomfortable with us? No, no. You exercise your first amendment rights, as far as I'm concerned. Cool, man. I mean, would you be uncomfortable if I pulled my phone out and started recording you? Nope. All right. It does. I'm, if if I did feel uncomfortable, it wouldn't matter because it's your right to do so. Okay. So I would just my feelings don't matter. Mm. But yeah, okay, that was a good, correct answer. I mean, we just we just film, you know, some like the last video I posted. Cops looked really good in that video, and I posted it. And there's a lot. Most of the videos, the cops make themselves look bad, man. Well, but, I mean, you get in their face and call them names and cuss at them and stuff like that. Never have done that. I've seen videos of guys doing that. Yeah. Just to get reactions. But I don't get in their face. They walk up to me, and then when they see me, I'm doing it to them. Oh, is that what happens? Yeah, isn't that weird? I've got three videos of cops running after him and attacking him for no reason. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, there are, uh, one was in River Oaks the other night. Cop told him he was standing about five feet away from the cop car, and the cop walked up to him and said, back up, and then shoved him. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and then five minutes later, he admitted, I walked up to you and told you to back up, and you didn't listen. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're going to, we've been trying to follow, we've been trying to, yeah, never mind. All right, he told me to shh. I'm revealing too much information. Man, this is crazy. We've been here for 15 minutes already. I've been recording. There's nobody here to help us. We're, is, are, you, are you the one that was sitting out in the car when we walked down the sidewalk? No, I just pulled up. Oh, you just pulled up. I'm pretty sure the whole building's been alerted yeah. that we're down here. I hear what you're saying, and I would agree with you on that. Like, if a guy walks up to a police officer and, like, puts the camera actually into his face, yeah. well, what about just walking up to oh. another cousin at him? Huh? That reminds me of Levine. Cousin for no reason. What do you mean? Just walk it up to cu start cussing at him and no, there has to be tell him the name shit on him? That's under the First Amendment. Well, you never done that without any reason? Right to redress your government. That's I mean, under the I First Amendment. I understand what the First Amendment says. I'm just saying. Well, Officer Levine was sitting in that chair about three weeks ago, and I'm standing right here, and he got on the radio and said, these guys are sticking the camera in my face. There's a piece of glass right there. Well, <laughs> it's crazy. I can't do that. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. There's a piece of glass, and he's sitting in that chair. Can, you, can I literally stick a camera in his face? Well, can he literally get on the radio and say that's what happened? He lied. Yeah, it's unprofessional.
Because he lied. He created a false narrative. We got surrounded by guys with guns after he oh, did really? that. Yeah. When was that? It's about, what was that, three weeks ago? Yeah, three weeks ago. So you think that's okay to... No. Like if I called 911 and, and gave a false report, I, that's a charge on me. What's the difference? If the district attorney decides to prosecute. Yeah. Depends. Mm -hmm. That's the court's job. Oh, yeah, that's the court's job. Yeah, but isn't it your job to understand that what you're doing is wrong, not wait for the court to say it? Well, what am I doing wrong right now? No, we're not talking about you. We're, we're talking about the scenarios, right? What you just said. That's not a scenario. I was saying, was it wrong for him to get on the radio? Yeah. Say that. Why Until a lie. a false report, and you just said that's for the DA. Did he file a false report? No, no, we're asking. No, what I'm saying is, yes, it is a law, but yeah, it's up to the district attorney to decide to prosecute. That's not up to us. That's up to the district attorney. But you're the ones that are putting the. Well, we filed a complaint on them. Yeah, and it's a legal charge. But if the judge says it's not, they have a choice to prosecute or not. District attorneys have the uh, choice of discretion. And if you got the. I like that word. Yeah, discretion. You know what that means? It, it means y'all have a choice. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that y'all don't know mean. what y'all saying, or y'all don't know what y'all doing, or y'all don't understand. Now well, you're misinterpreting that. A lot of people would call that discrimination. It's like if I pull you over for running red light, I have a choice whether or not to write the ticket, right? Exactly. Discretion. Exactly. So am I wrong for pulling you over if I don't no, write the ticket? No, that's not what I'm saying. Exactly. And then if I told you, then if I told you I'm an officer on the east side, you'd say, oh, I'm going to let you go with a warning. That's discretion. Yeah, that's what It's always saying. discretion. Yeah. That, a lot of people would call that discrimination. Yeah. Really, I don't think you really know what that word means, but I mean, like I said, I'm not a big ticket writer anyway. I use my discretion a lot not to write tickets. Well, so. so, are you telling me I don't know what discrimination means? What does it mean? Enlighten us. Why don't you like me? You're the so one that said one I didn't know what it meant. It. You're the one that's applying it. That's not discrimination, that's just discretion. Well, I, know I have a choice to write a ticket or not, right? Explain. So, for the next few minutes, Manuel explains his interpretations of the meaning of discrimination but i've just got too much footage here so for time purposes i'm going to cut this part out and where it picks back up this officer is giving his beliefs on what interference is so this ought to be interesting you're interfering with my ability to conduct an investigation how so if i'm sitting here let's say for example i'm doing a traffic stop on you right and he runs up gets in my face and all that at that point you're interfering with my ability to focus on my investigation at that point, right? That's interference. Yeah, uh, so my interference means that because I said something to you. No. Or my presence. No, you, you're not listening to what I'm saying. When I said you came up, got in my face. Now, if you're across the street saying whatever, like, yeah, fuck you, dude, like, whatever, what, what you're I'm across saying, the street. What makes you think that I can walk up to you? Well, at that point, you'll be interfering with my lawful investigation. I hear that a lot but from police officers. Physically. Huh? That has to be a physical. No, act. that's something else. That can turn into obstruction. No, it's not. Yes. I understand. Look, I'll look it up right now. Okay. That code says nothing about that. Thirty-eight point one five says interference is obstructing. Yeah. Yeah. So if I'm sitting there, like I pull you over, right? He comes up, gets in my face. I heard what you said, but my question is, I hear cops say that all the time. He got in my face. How far away? Like if, if, if what I, would you reasonably believe to be in someone's face? That's what I'm asking you. I'm asking you. In in someone's face means like that. Okay. So now so, what do you? So if I'm if you're standing by that door and I walk up to you and I'm standing right here, you would call that in your face? Not necessarily. Because did I say you were in my face when I walked the door? No. Are you in my face right now? But I'm telling you, I've heard that a lot from just like. Well, Le I can't speak for. Other Levine said well, I stuck a camera myself. in his face and there was a piece of glass in between me and him and I was well, I can't six foot away. Him. That's how he feels. That's not how I feel. Yeah. Like I said, I don't have a problem with you guys being here. Like I said, I don't have an issue with you as soon as I walk the door. You're yeah, not in my face. Right? Yeah. So check out this scenario that I had with Officer Cotton. I was standing 15 feet away from him. I didn't say one word. I was just filming. I was talking to Manuel, who was next to me. Mm -hmm. And he come clean out of his car. He's sitting in his car, come out of his car, chased me down, got in my face, assaulted me, and arrested me and charged me with interference. What do you think about that? Well, I wasn't there, so I wouldn't know exactly. The what video's happened. on YouTube. Have you seen it? No, I don't watch your channel. I just know. Well, what I just told you what happened. What do you think about that? Well, I'm hearing one side of the story. So you're already saying I'm lying? I didn't say you were lying. I'm standing here on one side of the story. So you just there's two sides to every story, right? And somewhere in the middle is the truth. You ever hear that? I just told you the truth. 
Oh, okay. So everybody else is lying to you? The video is on YouTube. Do you, you think I would I would go against the, the video? video called? It's um it's called Butthurt Tyrant Butthurt. Assaults Me and Arrests Me for Filming Him. That's a good title. Like yeah, that. It Butthurt is. Tyrant. Yeah. <laughs> and then his body camera was conveniently downloading mm -hmm. and it didn't record anything. And when he took me over to his car, he like me. Downloading. That's what the police report says. His body camera was downloading, mm -hmm. so it didn't record nothing. The sign says 10 minutes. We've been here 22 minutes and 38 seconds. And they don't tell me how long that sign's been there before we even got here. Yeah, I know. Uh, maybe he's doing something else. Something else. Yeah. What are you studying for? Huh? Detectives is it? Huh? Detectives exam. Oh. Uh, so the other, when they illegally arrested me, Detective Cantu got my case. Mm -hmm. She didn't even investigate it. She took it straight to the DA. Well, I don't know the circumstances behind that case, so I don't know how to comment on that. He just told you what the circumstances that were. That you were illegally arrested and was taken to the DA? Man got out of his car and chased me for 15 yards and assaulted me got in my oh face. that scenario okay well like i said i don't know every detail of it but in what you're just telling me you cops like to say that a lot i wasn't there so i don't know you're right i know same thing as is when, it fair for me to say i wasn't there i don't know well i'll tell you did they teach y'all did they teach y'all to say that in the academy no another thing y'all always say when you because y'all don't let's, let's i mean everybody knows that you guys don't know the laws you're not lawyers mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Now, when somebody who actually does know the laws tries to explain it to you, uh -huh. you guys always say, look, I'm not going to argue with you about laws. Do they teach y'all to say that in the academy? No. What about this one? I'm not going to debate with you on the side of the road. Yeah, I've said that before. Do they teach you to say that in the academy? No, but I've said it before. Well, how come all cops all across the country say that? Because when I hand you a ticket and you want to argue with it, that's not the place to argue with it. Court is the place to argue Side of the road where I can get hit by some drunk is not the place to argue. That's Fair. not very safe to pull people over on the side of the road. Did you know that? Well, I mean, where else are you going to pull over? <laughs> you guys act like everybody in, in the public is out to harm you. This officer safety thing. So we shouldn't be safe in what we well, do? Well, hold on. I'm going to tell you something. You know, police kill three people every day. Really? Last year, only 54 police officers were killed. All year in the whole country. Three people every day? Y'all kill three of us every day. Where? That's that's in the United States of America. Oh, uh, the whole country. The whole country. Out of what, sixty-one million contacts? All right, let me let me let me finish saying what I'm saying. Okay, so that's like fourteen hundred people y'all kill every year. Justified, unjustified, it doesn't matter. Only fifty-four police officers were killed in the line of duty in America last year. Last year? Yeah, and the great majority of that were hit by cars on the side of the road when y'all yeah. were. Yeah. That's why I'm not gonna Mass argue. majority of that. That's why I don't argue with people on the side of the road. Yeah. So if, if it's all about officer safety, why would y'all continue to pull over cars on the side of the road when the majority of y'all get killed so standing you, on the side of the road? You know what I do? I don't pull people over on the highway. I go up there, I get the license, I hit me, I take the next exit, we'll go to a parking lot. Yeah, but you could get hit while you're doing that. You're right. I can get hit walking out of my car. Yeah. yeah. But I can mitigate that risk by saying, hey, man, let's take the next exit, go to a parking lot. Right? Mitigate risk. So we're in, I see you Googling it. We're in 2022 now. I Googled that in 2021. So that was the stat for 2000. Well, you're saying last year, right? It was 2020 was that stat. And 2020, what about yeah. 2021? Did they release those stats? It might be the same. I just know I, I've already investigated that a few months ago. And that was the stat. 54 police officers. What? Uh, were killed in the line of duty last year, and the vast majority of those were hit by cars on the side of the road. Yeah, when they traffic were... accidents are the leading cause. Yeah, people can't drive. Man. Fifty-four people. The way you guys act, y'all are getting shot, and y'all's police departments you know are getting attacked. Well, a friend of mine got you know what shot. It is him. People being distracted. Yeah. Yeah. My Not phones. Paying attention to what they're doing. Yeah. On phones, all that stuff. Crazy, ain't it? Mm -hmm. But some people call it interference. You know, we've been here 30 minutes already. I know, that's what I told the cop in the back. There was one in the car. Oh, yeah? You saw one in the car? Yeah. Okay. I told him to call somebody in the front because the sign says 10 minutes. We've been here 30 minutes.
there was one in the, in the car. And I told this is how we get treated for practicing our rights. You guys hate us for it. I mean, I, I mean I'm just, stuck out of the lobby too. I know. I'm just so trying to get in there and do my job so I can go back to work. That's crazy. It'd be safe to say that the whole building knows we're in here by now. No, they, they know. Yeah. yeah. They knew it when we walked down the sidewalk. They knew we were here when we were parking our car over there. Yeah. You can hear him right here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can hear him in there? Yeah, I'm All right. Nice. Yeah, Let's get some help out here, buddy. Yeah. Oh, don't quiet down now. It's like, like, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you're... I was right, wasn't I? 54. And I actually said, uh, let's see. I just Googled 72 that. 72 felonious killings. They reached record highs last year. So when I looked it up, it was for 2020. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you said last year, 2021. Yeah, but I Googled it a few months. When I Googled it, it was 2021. Okay. So now we're in 2022. Yeah, well, the number went up a very little bit. We've all been waiting 30 minutes for somebody to work this front window. What's going on, Becky? This is Officer Hawkins. Hawkins. He's from the north side. We've been waiting for 30 minutes for this receptionist. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Do you have the number for whoever's working up here so they can let me into the actual office? Yeah, whoever was sitting on the desk up here isn't here, so I can't actually get into it. So they put it up the sign saying back in 10 minutes, but it's going to be 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah, we've been waiting 30 minutes. Well, I'm in the sector. I just can't get into where like, the desk is. So I don't know. Me and Emmanuel. I went live, dude. I got tired of this. See, they had this sign up that says back in 10 minutes. And I accidentally touched it and it fell where it's at. And then this guy walked in and he's, he can't get in either. We've been waiting for this receptionist for 30 minutes. That's why he's on the phone right now. Like, where the hell is the receptionist? They've seen us coming. They don't want to come down. Okay. I'll, I'll figure it out now. I just wonder if y'all knew who was up here before me. Ask him if we can speak to a detective. I wish I would have went live when I first got here, yeah. but I didn't. Okay. No worries. That was my sergeant. He wouldn't be able to get you a detective here. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can find a way. You gotta hurry up and wait, too. Yeah. You might be able to get in through the back. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Let's see what happens. You can. We can. I'll wait for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with him. Yeah, that's why I found the cop in the back. You might find another one, though. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna leave us in here by ourselves. Beautiful day out here in Fort Worth. They're trying to shut this police station down, y'all, since we showed up. Cop told me this was private property.
They've got childproof doors. I'm not ignoring you guys, man. I haven't been reading the comments. I've been watching him. Poor piggy is left out. The pig pen. And yeah, we are forced to pay for this. Yep. You'll never get into it if it's childproof. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Ray? Your city. What's up, Becky? What's up, Lou? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. You're off the clock now? You're going on patrol? Who's going to work the front window? I thought you said you were supposed to take over. He was supposed to take over, and now he's saying, screw it. He's been waiting 30 minutes with us, and now he's so fed up. I, I don't blame you. I'd leave, too. This is bullshit. I would leave, too, man. I don't even blame you. I'm not even going to say you're doing wrong by doing that. I'd leave, too, man. That's disrespectful the way they just did you, man. No, not really. Yeah, it is. That's really disrespectful. Only if you allow it to be. Yeah, well, you just allowed it. No. I mean, actually, there's nothing you can do about it. It's because me and Manuel are here. They don't want to. They don't want to deal with us. So you just got caught in the crosshairs. You know what I mean? You got caught in the middle, man. Happens. Shit happens, man. Yeah. That's crazy that they shut this whole building down for two guys practicing their First Amendment. Wouldn't you agree? I don't know if that's why it is. Oh well, yeah, I'm telling you, that's why. Have a nice day. All right, man. Hey, will you put that sign back up before you leave? Yeah, sure. I'll put it up. The one that I accidentally knocked over. Yeah, why not? There, yeah, that's, it up. There it goes. yeah, that was there when I walked in here 40 uh, minutes ago. He's fed up. He's leaving. I don't blame him. See you later, officer. All right, man. Y'all believe this? We sat in here.